Hi, my name is Philip Sintra, and today I will show you how to test your AMP page on Google Search Console. First, we need to talk about Google Search Console. If you want to publish your content online and get organic traffic, Google Search Console is the perfect tool for that. It's a set of tools and reports that will help you to measure your site search traffic and performance. And also you will find tools to fix errors and make your website shine in Google search results. And now we're gonna jump to our quick demo. Here I am at the homepage at Google Search Console. For now, I will just click and start now. Once our account is set up, I will get access to our overview. And here we can see all the options that we have related to that website particularly. If my website use AMP inside the enhancement, I will see the AMP option. I will just click at that option and inside the AMP section, we're gonna find a full report over our page. In one moment, I got a few errors, for example, I had three errors during that week and later the error was fixed. The important thing is if you don't click on revalidate those pages, those errors will take a few days to leave the report. So once you fix something, be aware that if you don't force the Google bot crawl your content again, that error will take a few days to disappear. Now I will just click on valid warnings that we still have a few warnings. And here at that page, I have listed two important issues. And at the details area, I will see the status of that item, the description, the status of validation. And those items are occurring in 10 pages for that first problem and five pages for the second one. I will just click on the first item that is image size is smaller than the recommended size. I will just see more details about that problem particularly, and I can see here which page that problem is occurring. So as we can see here, I have one normal post and one web stories. And the important thing is many users think that those errors are related to the end plugin, but most of the case they are related to the content. And be aware that if you are using a SEO plugin, make sure that you are filling the right information at the structured data section that it can affect your end page. So that's not particularly the end plugin, but a external plugin that can affect your and paste. So here I can click and see more about that error. For example, I can inspect that page. And once I click inspect, I will get a new report about that page particularly. So, and here we are at the page that inspect our URL. So we have the status, that page is valid. So that will be indexed by the Google bot, but we have one problem. That's the image size that is defined on the structured data is not the size that is recommended. That particular problem, we're gonna fix in another video. So that's a quick demo over the Google Search Console, but we're gonna revisit that area. And how we can avoid AMP errors. And the important thing is, the AMP plugin is fully compatible with WordPress and the core items present on WordPress. But we have a huge ecosystem that we need to integrate with dozens of different plugins. When you are set up your website, make sure to follow those three items. First, you need to use AMP compatible themes and plugins. Number two, run the site scan when a new plugin or theme is installed or updated. Number three, check if the structured data from your page are valid. That's an important point as well, because 9% of the case, the structured data are related to the content of your page that the AMP plugin doesn't have control over that. So once you publish new content, make sure that that's the structured data for that page. And with those three items, you will avoid to have AMP errors on your Google Search Console and deliver AMP valid content and have your results shine on the Google search. If you need any help with the official AMP plugin, please contact us at the support forum that you're gonna find at wordpress.org slash support slash plugins slash AMP. Thanks for watching and see you next time.